Okay, it's not matter if real estate crisis will happen or not. It will happen. The question is when, and it can happen sooner than later. We are now in 2021, a crazy two years, business closed, economic activities inactive. That's inevitable. Who studied economics and who has a little bit of uh, inside of financial market knows that it's inevitable that we will face big financial crisis. And not, that's not only because of Corona. Without Corona, we had uh, the market experience since every seven to 10 years, big crisis always. Now, on ad addition to that system, who without Corona or any apparent reason would face downturn in seven to 10 years, also faced Corona. Can you imagine what happens? I expect huge financial crisis and I want to prepare myself for a financial crisis and uh, I will probably have separate videos on that, how to prepare for financial crisis. That's another topic. In this video, I want to talk about should you buy real estate now before a crisis apparently started? Should you cash, save your cash in order to buy uh, real estate after the crisis or market hit? That's the question. But the answer is not straightforward. Uh, During the re recession, the, it's, there is no apparent uh, straightforward link that uh, during financial crisis, real estate prices will also fall down a lot. It happened in uh, 2008, but these crises were preliminary uh, caused by real estate bubble. This crisis in 2008 was rela related to real estate, it started from real estate. So the prices of real estate fell significantly. Will the price of real estate f uh, fall down? That's the question that I am going to uh, find answer for myself. First of all, uh, the answer here, I think, depends on one important thing that we realize. What happens during recession? During recession, uh, people lack out of money, money lose pro its power, purchasability power. So first and foremost, you need to have some cash in hand to cover your life expenses, right? So the answer here is no, then I will save my cash in order to survive during financial crisis and I won't buy real estate now. That's, I think, if you have cash sitting, that's probably smartest uh, decision that you can make right now is to, to save some liquidity in order to buy some cheap assets. After financial crisis, you will get lots of cheap, cheap, cheap assets on the financial market, or I think any crisis will affect real estate prices anyways, because there will be huge demand of money. People will lack out of money and they will have to sell their properties. They will be in urgency. So probably the answer is that if, you're, if the money is sitting in your bank account right now, wait for it. But uh, you should not put uh, all your eggs uh, in one basket. Everybody knows, <laughs> everybody studies this as a first thing in final, when they study finals, that's what I studied. And that's what I think is true. It's highly risky uh, to have all your assets in one thing, especially during recession, even if it's the US dollar. As a strong currency, as US dollar can devaluate a lot. And some foreign currencies can may even outperform your US dollar. Some strange country currencies like Georgia and Lyra can outperform in, during recession US dollars. So first and foremost, diversify your assets. Buy some foreign currency assets. Don't let your all of your cash to sink in one country in one bank open bank accounts, offshore bank accounts in other countries. What happens uh, during crisis, banks get crazy craving for some money and they may limit your access to your money. Don't let one bank to have access to all of your liquid assets, all your, uh, all your assets. Another thing is that during financial crisis, we all know that prices of the uh, assets in financial markets fall. Some people believe, I personally believe, it's not financial advice here. Whatever videos I make, I just express my personal opinion and none of my videos are uh, financial advice. I'm just uh, making this research for myself and I, I make these videos for entertainment purposes only and share with you my educational knowledge 
my research. If you want to uh, take care of your money, please do your own research. But I can share you my research. That's it. I'm not giving you any financial advice. I'm giving you here in this video myself the advice and I share my advice to myself to you. So let's back to the topic. Uh, investing in some equities uh, on financial market can be risky because we have seen that uh, prices of the uh, prices of the equities can fall a lot during financial crisis. You don't know, maybe strongest company can fail. This is what happened in 2008. So uh, make sure that you diversify a lot your portfolio in order to minimize risk. We all know that with high risk uh, come high profit, but it also can be, uh, it also comes the high risk, you know? Uh, so don't put, it's like, it sounds boring. People make millions of dollars trading Dutch coins but it's poor luck it's just poor luck you will either make a million or you will lose all your money if you want to gamble everybody lots of people gamble you can do it your money but if you want to make more wiser decision and if you don't want to compromise all your money and you are okay with gains but slightly less diversify buy gold buy silver and buy cryptocurrency i buy cryptocurrency because i think it's one of the assets that can survive well during this financial crisis so gold silver uh, gold, silver, uh, and cryptocurrencies. Uh, as for real estate, let's go back to that topic. So, if I had now cash sitting in uh, the bank, I would not buy real estate. But if uh, I want to take a loan, right now I'm in Europe uh, and the low interest rate is pretty low here. During recessions, banks don't have money. They restrict your access to financial resources and they more likely strengthen their mortgage requirements. So it's a perfect time to get a loan in order to secure your mortgage. And... Uh, if you you pay if you if you if you're sure that you have enough cash in your pocket that you can pay back this mortgage now i think it's best time to get your mortgage because some banks may even i don't know to i don't want to say but it happens in the past some banks even collapse it collapsed so what can happen or some banks for sure or during the recession when everybody's craving for money they would they will not want you to give some more money so in terms of real estate if you want to get low get now i think so if you want if you have this cash sitting and you want to go all in one in cash, don't go only in real estate. Right now, diversify your assets. Open different bank accounts, often in different, have different currencies, invest in promising assets and uh, probably buy real estate later because there is no apparent um, connection between real estate prices and financial crisis that, that is not guaranteed. But I'm sure that it will affect if the financial crisis affect every sector, it will affect the real estate market too. So prices will be probably lower. So you can use your cash savings in order to buy real estate for cheaper prices because we are here traders, we buy low and sell high. That's my investigation about this market. And if you want to know more tips about how to live wealthy and uh, prosperous happy life uh, join my journey because i'm on my journey for happy life and for financial freedom here subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about my theory if you have any other idea i would be happy to hear that